Well, thanks for tuning in again. I've got to laugh because I'm back at Mount Buffalo. I mean, I can't, I just can't resist this place. It's fantastic. It was quite cloudy this morning when I was driving over, but it's about an hour from my house to here. And in that hour, the clouds all, <laughs> all lifted. That's gone. I'm no meteorologist. I just look up and go, oh, that'll do. And then it doesn't happen. But anyway, I'll keep going down and we'll see what we can do. Ah, uh, yeah. You'd think I was in far north Queensland here with this scenery. Not Mount Buffalo, Victoria. This, what we're seeing up here now is just gorgeous. The high clouds lifted. I mean, it's, it's sort of coming in and out. So I might get a chance to get some on. But what I'm going to do is put this neutral density filter on again. Basically, I'll show that it's just putting this piece of dark glass in front of the lens, which then cuts a lot of the light out. And as we talked about last time, we want to shoot waterfalls with a, a, a slow shutter speed so that we get the movement of the water through the um, through the waterfall which makes it really pretty and that's what we're aiming for but when it's sunny it's, it's just too bright so f22 which is the little hole lets in a lot less light which then allows us to shoot with a slower shutter speed that gives us the movement of the water through the image It's quite a pretty scene. You can overdo it with uh, your shutter, slow, sh slowing your shutter down. You can, you can get it a little bit too slow and it looks a bit too milky. Or you, can, you know, and there's a sweet spot and quite often it depends on what your scene is. Oh, this is it's pretty through here. And there's some beautiful greens and ferns, tree ferns here. We'll get a couple of shots through here. Now you can see the difference here. The first image is shot at uh, 125th of a second, and the second image is a sixth of a second. So you can see the difference in the water there. I want to try and get over into that rock over there. Oh. Yeah, this one here will be fine, I think. We'll go down here and see if we can get a low shot. Looking up at the waterfall. Like I was saying the other day in the last video about the having clouds in the sky acting like a large softbox. And the beauty of that is it filters the light, so we're not getting all those really deep shadows and those really bright bright. So we don't have to we don't have to deal with a huge dynamic range in the image, which is great because it also, it softens things, it, the lights are a lot more even, and the colours are nicer. So you get these beautiful rich colours in the overcast days. And it's great for shooting running water because we can use a slower shutter speed without it being so bright that we can't deal with it, or that we have to put the, the neutral density filter over the front of the lens. Anyway, I tell you what, let's move on from here and we'll go up the road a little bit to Lady Bath Falls, which is a really nice walk in, very picturesque, lots of rocks and boulders, as you can see. And um, we'll go and see what we can do up there. There's quite a large waterfall up there, so there should be a fair bit of water coming through. And hopefully there's not too many people. <laughs> ah, you can hear the water now. So we're getting close. So this is Lady Bath Falls. The sun's come out. I'm hoping the sun will go away again. Ah, oh, God, blue sky. <laughs> but we'll... Oh, now it's full sun. Oh, what a bugger. It was beautiful before, and now it's full sun. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's just too bright. 
Now, I might move up a bit. Yeah, I'm going to move. Look how bright it is now. As I was talking about before with the harsh shadows. Not all beer and Skittles. But anyway, that's what it's all about. The sun came out before and it was super bright. And it's gone in again now, so we're going to hopefully get some shots. I'll wrap, wrap a couple of quick ones off. We'll see how we go. Oh, here we go. The sun's coming out again. A couple more. I've really had to rush into this, so I'm hoping these shots are going to be okay. It's not ideal. We'll see how we go. And things don't always go to plan. <laughs> As we now know. I'll get in and try a lower shot over here. Well, thanks again for tuning in. If you liked it, give me a like, and even better would be a subscribe. And next week, I think, or the next video I'm doing, I'm hopefully gonna do it about, with fly fishing, so photographing some fly fishing up towards Falls Creek somewhere, so that, that'll be good. And I think we've got something shooting out of helicopters coming up. But keep an eye out for those, and see you next time.